We just start dinging the bell some more. Can I get someone else? Can I get a fresh one, please? 601. I think there's something spoiled about this guy. <laughs> he looks fine. Don't worry about it. This is all just some elaborate Westworld style, like robots <laughs> everywhere thing. <laughs> oh, spooky bunny. <laughs> what? Spooky bunny? <laughs> the, the rocking chair has a stuffed bunny in it with a flash holding a flashlight. Any day I, I get some lightning in so I can see that, please. Yeah, just flashed a second. I'll take uh, your word for it. Oh, there, there he is. is. There is he is. Funny. Is he holding, like, a very famous rock of some type? <laughs> a legendary type, perhaps? Yes, it's definitely. Glowing with energy? What is this game we're playing? Uh, this is Phobia, St. Dinfna Hotel. Try again. Dinfna, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to pronounce that either, so we'll just, we'll just say that you did it right. Congratulations. <laughs> no, nailed it. I did it. First try. Don't worry about is this it. A, is this a new game, or did this come out I like some time ago? I think this is new. I can double check that. This game released on June 28th, so it's newish. This year, though, so. This year, yeah. This year. Okay, so uh, you play as miniature uh, girl psychomantis? Yes, perhaps? definitely. That's what happens. <laughs> Is that your character sneaking around in the background? <laughs> don't, I don't, I think Blurbound Stream Steam said you were a journalist, I think. So probably not mini girl psychomantis. Why not? Are you trying to say she can't be a journalist? <laughs> Well, usually those are adults. Yeah. It's kind of judgy of you to assume that she's not some kind of child prodigy. <laughs> a child. Just, just guessing that it's something stupid like she's not the journalist you'll be playing as. Okay, whatever. A so far, the only evidence I've seen points towards me being right, but whatever. A child journalism prodigy. Child journalism prodigy. She knows how to ask all the right questions. She's been doing it since she was a baby. <laughs> all right, let's get into it then. We... 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 Oh. Uh oh Aim assist, no. How good are you at video games? Ammo assist, no. Objectives, no. No, 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 I couldn't finish my graffiti on the wall. <laughs> they took my chalk away. Oh, no. They replaced oh. it with all this spilled raspberry jam. I can't even eat it. It's dirty. <laughs> I have to use all this jelly. <laughs> what do we got? That is a strange looking toilet. I suppose oh, they have yeah. to like, dump it out. Per oh, it's a sink, too. Yeah, it's I got see. a sink on, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're starting out well. We've got some bread. Delicious. Hold it up to your face and take a nice, sexy bite like it's Yakuza 7. Oh, that is weird. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get used to that. When I turn the camera, he, like, shifts his body and it, like, makes the camera shift a little bit. Never played a game like that before? I don't think so. I might have. I don't know. Maybe it's just more noticeable right for me right now. It's supposedly realism. I just think it's annoying. Yeah. Metal key. Who left this here? I don't trust you. How do I know this isn't just chocolate? <laughs> he just takes a bite out of it. And it works, and he's like, I knew it. It's sure, chocolate. Sure is a generic, thickle metal jail key. That looks like a prison key if ever I saw one. Cora? I like document. Oh, weird. Run! Is that what that means? I guess. Must be what Which that means. Which country is this in? What language is that? What's Cora? Uh, I don't know. How to use an item. Okay. I guess we'll never know. Navigate to the item you wish to see. To use. Select the item to open the submenu. How to use a key. Here's the big ass tutorial <laughs> for how keys work. Select the option use. I just read the Wikipedia article for the whole history of keys. <laughs> Seems like no one else is around. Now's my mm. chance. But that one also has the symbol on it. 
Whoa. They probably all do. Oh. That's the brand that is... for this particular prison. They have their own franchise going across <laughs> the countries. Well, that was pretty dark. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. What we got here? More keys? Can't take them? Can take them. No. Oh. He says he swallows all of them we one by one. Shove all of these in my pocket. Sure hope I don't have an inventory limit. Uh. What do we got here? This looks like Italian, maybe? Dear member of the Sacred Trail, the new guinea pigs are ready for testing. The procedures will begin immediately. The Sacred Trail counts as your collaborate counts on your collaboration for the pro proper registration of the pa patients. To the principle of free will, Davy Menezes. Menezes? Oh uh, yes. The principle of free will, which is why we're locking people in cells and using them as test subjects. Presumably against their will. It's, it sounds like it's probably Italian. What have we got here? What to expect of the future? Is this just all going to be in Italian? Okay, esperar is Spanish. Oh, is it? Maybe it's Spanish. That, I don't that, know. that title was in Spanish. Pencils. Look Somewhere at their physics there. engine. There they go. <laughs> Look at that texture of a piece of paper it was rolling over. Calendar, May 1960. What is Oops. that? Can I crouch? Don't you what hate it that? when you put your coffee cup into a drawer sideways <laughs> and then forget it's there until it's cold? <laughs> yeah. It looks Darn. like it's been in there for a while, too. Oops. Is he just using this drawer as a trash can? He might be using it as a trash can. <laughs> looks like he was using the floor as a trash can, too. <laughs> yeah. Diary. My notebook. Oh, it's mine. Inventory is full. Okay. <laughs> Just to open up all these keys. I have a combine in the inventory. What could be on the other side of this gate? Hmm. A jail cell. I never would have guessed. I thought these keys were more or less universal across these cells. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they have... Those <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Your characters just didn't check to see if they were the same. You just had <laughs> just one key and didn't need the rest of them. Oh, I thought they were numbering the cells. This is just how many of the keys we have. We're supposed to sign them out. I get it. I work here now, by the way. A diary with my notes on the investigation of the St. Dinfna Hotel. Your notes. Can't use. Okay. Uh, motivo. All right, I can read. I don't know how to pronounce no, that No, go name. back to the original and try to figure it out. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. In captivity, date 05-06-1960. Oh, Location, Hotel St. Dithna. Reason, espionage. This morning, we discovered this individual hiding in a service closet. He attempted to fight back, but we were able to subdue him. This is the first time anyone outside the Sacred Trail has managed to infiltrate our facility to this extent. He will remain in the holding cells along with the traitors. Soon we will begin the interrogation process. We need to find out what he knows. Update 0507 1960. We confiscated a, note, a notebook from the spy. According to the information therein, he is a reporter and private investigator. He has been hiding amongst us for some time now, and he has gathered too, far too much information about the Sacred Trail to be left alive. After consulting with our su superiors, the man is to be eliminated and the notebook destroyed. Update 0510 1960. The prisoner is still unconscious. We are delivering food to his cell and awaiting further instructions. He must be eliminated and the notebook destroyed, but we're gonna wait three days and keep him alive and give him food, just because. I know they haven't been trying, it just hasn't worked. Jesus. He could be like Soldier Boy, they're just doing everything you think of, but it's just not working. <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> Turn that on. I'm gonna run up their electricity bill. Take, Take that, that, whoever you guys are. <laughs> I gotta find a place to hide it. No. Any good hiding places in here. Just, you know, put it underneath the blanket. I'm sure they won't find it. Just hide behind the bed frame. They won't see you. <laughs> Just steps over and crouches behind the little wiring. This one has a lot of blood in there. And it works. They come in, they're like, where'd you go? <laughs> also, has a hole in the bricks should work convenient, very brightly lit hole in the bricks. Just reach your hand in there. Just, yeah, just stick it in there. It's fine. Don't let us see what's between that, but okay. <laughs> I'll come back for you. What the f Why are you doing this? Need to find a way out of here because first. he doesn't want them to find it, I guess. So he's hiding it. 
why don't you just keep it on you? I I guess in case they capture him again or something. Trace. I don't have a key for Trace. Got two. No, you misread that. It's not a two. That's for the Twix room. That's where they keep all the Twix. <laughs> oh. Oh. And also the old VCRs they've been hoarding. Because <laughs> it also looks like a pause. Get it? <laughs> now I'm going to turn these on and run up their water bill also. Well, that's bad for the environment. Good job, <laughs> Now you're the bad guy. Got anything in these at all? Uh, some clothes. Tweezers? A small Doom guy figurine. <laughs> Can't do anything with that. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh. Shit, shit. Well, uh, which way? Oh. I gotta escape before the ninjas get here. Oh. There's uh, one of them. There's a ninja. Hmm. I think maybe I don't go that way. You were just right outside the door this whole time? <laughs> yeah, we were just waiting there. Also, you plan on just destroying this prison if one person escapes? Yeah, well, let me... Who's gonna rebuild that door, kid? Is this my run? <laughs> oh. Whoops. If somebody just busted down a door to get to me, you don't seem in that big of a rush. Oh, it's a toggle sprint. Weird. Gross. You could probably change that. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, the only toggle we need is crouch, if you ask me. How <laughs> weird. Oh. Well, uh, hmm. I also saw the trailer to Bioshock. <laughs> I think maybe he's not gonna make it. I think maybe that was a dream. Might have been a dream. Or at that point, he'll have, like, some jars of heal juice from Resident <laughs> Evil. And he'll just pour it over his chest and be like, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, just pour, just pour it out. Just pour it on there. It's fine. It's fine. Toggle sprint. How weird. If you play another character, when you get to the part where you have to find his notes, just never look at that brick, because why would they know? <laughs> just why would they know yet. it was there? <laughs> Oh <laughs> yeah, why would I know it's there? Just role play it and it's like, well, I guess the game just ends here. <laughs> well, that's the game, everybody. It goes inside, you see Francis York Morgan talking about Tom and Jerry on the phone. <laughs> and then this is just deadly premonition. <laughs> he was on his way to solve this, but then he swerved off the road. It's going to change the text, like, on the things? No, apparently. Like, on the papers and stuff? Guess not. You can even do it on the loading screens! Okay, let me see if I can change that. Let's just test that out. The rain's really coming down hard now. Yeah, okay. Damn. Just gets harder and harder and eventually just starts destroying the hotel the rain does. What is... What am I looking at? I'm looking at a very... Oh, yeah, okay, the, it's the trees, uh, I see. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, it's the gap between the yeah. trees. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Don't trip on that. It'd be a really lame way to go out. <laughs> he just trips and hits his head on the table. Oh, no. All the spooky things start, and it's like, uh, we need him, uh, oops. Somebody call a oh. hospital. We need oh. him alive for this part. <laughs> the big monster guy shows up, and he's like, oh. Starts doing CPR. <laughs> I know, I just keep a picture of swords around. Like, if somebody got hurt in a haunted house in real life, they'd be like, oh, oh, shit, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess that must be Saint Dintha. Dintha. How come your name is so weird? <laughs> Am I supposed to say this, Dymphina? Oh, that's an old computer. What time does this game take place in? I don't know. I was gonna say 60s, but I don't know. It definitely is not the 60s. Is it? Maybe this place was built in the 60s. <laughs> Those suitcases look pretty modern. Yeah, I was gonna say... Modern suitcases. The car looked... Uh... Later than 60s, too. Although I don't think I can see it from here. Somebody stole it. <laughs> From the future. The evil dead trees in the forest just, they reached out and got it. I'm very, doing donuts with it right now. Very empty hotel. 
Uh, playing horror games makes me wonder if anybody actually goes to hotels in real life. <laughs> yeah. Ding. The ghost... <laughs> a ghost host just appears in front of you. Seems like nobody's <laughs> here. And your guy doesn't even react. He's like, yeah, it's normal. Yeah. It happens every time I go to a hotel, yes. Going again. Jack Nicholson is oh, there. Hey. Oh. There he is. There's the ghost host. He just bamped in. <laughs> oh, it's no problem. I actually just got here. Let go. Always running off somewhere. Right. So, uh, should I just wait here or. Oh, the door's no, open. No, no, I thought no. that he just loaded outside <laughs> of it like it was oblivion. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> like, the camera went away when he came in. So it was like, well, are I mean, they hiding, not being able to animate yeah, him coming through the door? He probably didn't actually come through the door. He probably did just <laughs> yeah. load in like oblivion, but... Yeah. Lopez. Roberto Lechi Lopez. Roberto, hmm? Let's see. Uh, I am... We have you under a Roberto, are. actually. <laughs> actually <laughs> surprised there's like a normal human visit, being here. Mr. Lopez. Well, we don't know that for sure. I mean, I guess he's maybe Tourism? like an evil cultist or something. Look. He might also just be a ghost. For an he also could be a ghost. Work, actually. I'm a, I'm a journalist. He hisses. You wouldn't happen to know anything <laughs> about the strange things people have been reporting around here, would you? Room 610, Block B. It's on the, the 600th floor. 10th right hallway down. Right. Weird, it didn't look that tall from outside. <laughs> it's I bigger on the inside. The right person, oh. Roberto. Roberto, actually, please. please. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Right. The right person, huh? Thanks. Later. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Uh, currently, he said in front of the guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll just start dinging the bell some more. Can I get someone else? Can I get a fresh one, please? 601. I think there's something spoiled about this guy. <laughs> he looks fine. Don't worry about it. This is all just some elaborate Westworld style, like robots <laughs> everywhere thing. <laughs> oh, I can look at this. Septem September 2009. Oh, it's September 11th. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that might be a coincidence. What a terrible day to get trapped in a horrible nightmare. <laughs> in Italy, Spain, maybe. <laughs> Italane. <laughs> Spittily? Spittily, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the Iberian boot. <laughs> Just a picture of a house. That yeah. definitely looks like it's a black and white photo instead of an oil painting, but it's got the texture of a painting. <laughs> it's fine, he's just really good at it. I sure hope you like me just opening all of these doors. Well, you're paying to be here. We're not <laughs> closed yet, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> Just sprinting across the lobby. <laughs> I guess the hotel doesn't close. They're always open, aren't they? Yeah, well, they might close for taking new guests, I guess. I guess. Hey, look at this. That's when the next person comes in for their shift. They just sit at the desk with a shotgun. <laughs> Such a lovely place. I mean, it looks all right. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've never been to a hotel. I also haven't really been to a well, hotel ever. No, I guess that is technically true what I just said. No, it's true. I mistook <laughs> a... Uh, whatever. <laughs> I've never been to a hotel. Whoa. Stephanie wasn't kidding. Yeah, it's pretty big. Looks incredible. And it's all for me. It it's all mine. No lines. Elevator block A. I don't have to get into a line to play these casino games. <laughs> I don't have to get in the line to get into my room. <laughs> to get into your room. <laughs> no lines. It's all for me. Oh, they just have some guns out here. Well, collector's weapons. To the Prophet Christopher? Who? The Prophet Christopher? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> His name was Christopher Colty? Enigma machine. He used to encrypt texts in the early 20th century. Wait, what? Objects that belong to the Prophet, Prophet Christopher. Is there going to be a time warp where you have to use this crap? <laughs> Probably. 
Oh, that's pretty long. It's a newspaper article. Mm-hmm. From the it seems. <laughs> yeah. May 17th, 1950, the life and death of Christopher, the prophet. In 1918, a man known only by his first name, Christopher, arrived in Santa Santa Catarina to coordinate mining work on his fa- on his family's land. If, if it was his family's na- land, why don't they know his last name? Uh, do you, I don't know. Maybe he just had the deed and he was like, look, this is mine. <laughs> and it just this- said, this guy, whoever is holding this totally owns his land, guys, and it's on graph paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a piece of paper with like not even pen, it's just pencil. It's just got a big X with a line underneath that says not a scam, please sign. <laughs> this endeavor in- generated employment for local immigrants and was the catalyst in the founding of the village of Tres Trillas. I assume that's how that's pronounced. Which would eventually become the city we know today. In 1920, there was an unfortunate accident at the mining site where more than 20 men were buried alive. Their bodies were never found. After many weeks and many unsuccessful excavations, Christopher decided to erect the St. Dinfna Hotel over the site. Oh good. Totally ceasing all further mining activity on the land. In his words, no amount of wealth can compensate for even one death. What happened here must never be forgotten, and will never be repeated. I am definitively closing the mine, and will give all necessary assistance to the families of those who were lost. Definitively, definitely, defiantly. Defiantly. I am defiantly closing the mine. <laughs> Take that mine. <laughs> uh, where was I? The citizens of Trey's Trilhas are my, are my people, and I do not wish to cause them any suffering whatsoever. The St. Divna Hotel has sheltered the families affected by the accident for years. Oh, they just live there, I guess? It's also greatly strengthened the city's tourism, offering high-quality lodgings to any and all visitors to this very day. Oh, it goes. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> yeah. The Sacred Trail, a group founded by Christopher, was later born in the St. Jesus, you know what? You read this. I'm going to use the bathroom. Entertain everybody <laughs> while I'm gone. <laughs> was later born in the St. Dinva. I never intended to become a holy man. My intentions were, first and foremost, to take care of my people and make our cities a safe haven for everyone. God gave me the mission and the opportunity to develop great wisdom and use it to better the lives of others. We live in a blessed place, even after all the terrible times we have been through. The Sacred Trail has become what it is today thanks to the to collective effort, determination, and the faith of my people in reaching the goal of the common good, the goal of attaining freedom through free will itself. Sadly, in 1945, Christopher was mysteriously killed by a mortal stab wound to the chest. The crime was never solved. The, the killer left no clue. The knife only contained fingerprints from Christopher himself. His murder caused commotion and outrage among the inhabitants of Trey's Trilhas, and still divides opinions to this day. Most believe that, despite all his efforts of benevolence and wisdom, and Christopher met his end at the hands of someone who had never forgotten the incident in the mind and wanted revenge. Jeez, you're still reading this? <laughs> Just finished, Christopher got stabbed by somebody mysterious who didn't leave any fingerprints. Neat. Maybe the knife did it. Yeah, the knife just picked itself up and stabbed him a little bit. I feel like you're making fun of my idea. (laughs) Why would you make fun of that? It It makes sense (laughs) to me, is all I'm saying. A warning, employees only. Entrada exclusiva para something. (laughs) I'm uh, that one, not not used to saying that one. Don't know. <laughs> if you gave me like seven tries, I could get it. <laughs> what do we got here? Somebody left these highlighting. Theater night at Saint Edmund Hotel, September nineteenth. I can just take this. Oh, I guess they're just like brochures or whatever. Yeah, this is all the stuff you can do, I guess. Mm, yeah. This is all the stuff you can plan your vaca- vacation around. <laughs> yeah. Let's just not do the scary things and hang out. It's just all in the hotel, though. It's funny. It's like uh, <laughs> they just got wings, like it's the ship in space balls. <laughs> yeah. Piano concert at the St. Divna Hotel Theater, September 18th. How big is this the- this hotel? Well, they have a whole ass zoo at the back. <laughs> and dinosaurs, I guess. Find the Cure, a flyer of some religion or cult called Sacred Trail. But like cartoony dinosaurs? Like you see the picture <laughs> yeah. of me? <laughs> Be Free, flyer of some religion or cult called Sacred Trail. 
Seek freedom, Get out flyer. Of here, sacred trail. <laughs> Some religion or cult called Sacred Trail. Hmm. I wonder if the the religion or cult called Sacred Trail is going to be important in this game. That's their full name, religion or cult called Sacred Trail. Yeah. But oh, no, sorry. To... Some religion or cult named Sacred <laughs> yeah. Trail. That's their. They name. have to use that little tiny treasure chest. <laughs> they have to use treasure? that every in every meeting. I had to use that. I had a little tiny treasure chest like that before. <laughs> Did you? It was smaller actually. It was like hand size. Little bitty thing. I think I still got it in storage somewhere. Locked. Probably bolted from the other side. Probably is bolted from the other side. Imagine trying to lead a cultist meeting and you have to talk about it with that name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can it's look like at this one. Or cult named Sacred Trail. Nothing to see. It's just, hey, look at the painting. Let me tell you, it's fucking look. I don't care what you say. Angels aren't real, okay? <laughs> That's what that one lady was saying to the other one. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to sit in the shadowy corner while you do my portrait? <laughs> That's a woman, actually. Maybe? Look at the eyelashes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just put up this weirdly spooky painting in our hotel. Then just traffic cones. Not allowed. <laughs> just regular traffic cones. Yeah, warning. You expect them to have, like, a fancy little thing with, like, a velvet rope or something? <laughs> yeah. Like, a little... But no, let's just drag in some some traffic cones that were in the rain for a while and plastic. put a piece of rope between them. <laughs> just some plastic traffic cones. Well, let's go to the elevator. If I can. Can I... Doesn't look like it wants to let you in there, kid. Uh... Where's your chaperone, it asks. 610. Maybe it's the other elevator it wants me to use. I can't just let you use this elevator. You might go down to the party floor and you need to be an adult to get down there. <laughs> you have to have permission or a chaperone. Or a chaperone. There we go. The 600th floor, please. Just all of them. <laughs> he just runs his yeah, hand he just down. just presses all the buttons, yeah. <laughs> I'll get oh. there eventually, he says. Not wanting to admit that he can't count. <laughs> or read. Yeah, I know, it's a tragedy. You fucking asshole, stop reminding me. <laughs> Spending several days here doing all this stuff. They let you hang up a cork board? Apparently. <laughs> this gotta be expensive. You're staying in an old ass hotel for a whole ass week? <laughs> yeah. He's a very successful journalist. He does look like he may be a robot as well, so he might just put in a lot of overtime to get the money for it. <laughs> You gonna come back to the game, or are we just gonna join you in the bath? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna join him in the bath. Wow. Oh. Resident Evil 4 is invading your video game. For Silent Hill 4, sorry. I had it wrong. <laughs> Quick, go get your camera. Make sure you get the chocolate milk out of the fridge. You're gonna need that for a puzzle later. <laughs> just fill this with cement. <laughs> The hotel. The hotel, everywhere. Well, I got eaten by a black hole. Game over. I didn't really panic. I saw it happening. I was like, I'm kind of curious where this goes. <laughs> you just had a Silent Hill 4 ghost invade your apartment. Or a hotel room, <laughs> I mean. Sorry. If it was an apartment, that would be some copyright infringement. Uh oh Oh. Oh. Blood. We'll let you keep the ghost because it kind of did that on its own, so it's not your fault, but you can't have it be an apartment. It's a good thing that weird, mysterious Jeez. whatever it was. Did somebody ransack my room while I was unconscious? Is this one of those party hotels where I just get to break everything, but I got blackout <laughs> drunk so I don't get to remember the fun I had? <laughs> it's a good thing that weird that is a what the weird fuck is ceiling this steampunk what is this? shit that you have on your room. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in, like, an alternate steampunk history now? <laughs> yeah. I've never in my life seen a fan like that before. That looks dangerous. Don't, yeah, don't it want does. it. Jesus. <laughs> Still the 19th, 18th, so I haven't been time warped. Or I guess I could have been. He just didn't mark off, yeah. Investigation board. Press Q to read the notes. It didn't take me anywhere. Well, it's not a car, my friend. You have to... <laughs> yeah. 
I keep trying to jump into these like they're Mario paintings, but it's not working. <laughs> no. Okay, that looks a little buggy. Was this like a that hardcore been, indie game? It must have been like an indie game or something. Start of investigation. I took several photos of accessible areas of the hotel and gathered some information on my investigation board. Did he just bring the board with him? Talking to silly do city dwellers, I noticed they all had the Innsmouth look. <laughs> Talking to city dwellers. I found out there is a myth about a girl who was murdered in the city. They say her angry spirit has terrorized the hotel ever since. Since its foundation, the city has suffered from mysterious disappearances, from a coal mine accident to a famous investigator. The mi mystery of the missing miners. The tray still has mine remains closed after a mis mysterious accident. Reports indicate a collapse which buried 20 miners. The families are waiting for the owner of the mine, Christopher, to make a statement. Famous investigator. Famous investigator missing. July 1960. That's the guy from the prologue. Oh my god. Mystery in Trey's Trillhaus. After a few days staying at the St. Dipna Hotel in the city of Trey's Trillhaus, private investigator that guy seemingly disappeared. Uh, I can help you with the second half. The first half I'm a little lost on. <laughs> Kazooing countless rumors about his whereabouts. Kazooing everyone. <laughs> I only find stories from the past. No new events or, re or recent reports. It seems that my source of information was not quite correct. Oh, do a Man, page. Oh, it's one of those pop-out notebooks I got. <laughs> yeah. Another day lost. All information about Stephanie told me about apparitions and strange events. Seems like a lie. I didn't find anything to report, much less any evidence that something has already happened. In the end, after a week here, I can confidently say there's nothing to investigate. I was supposed to meet Stephanie tomorrow, but I'm not going to do that. I'd rather just go home at this point. If this is what being a journalist is like, I should have chosen my second option. So this is his first job as a journalist, I guess? I was going to be a baker. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Don't come in. Then on the other side of the door, you just hear it's locked. Probably bolted from the <laughs> other side. 